I do think that attachment therapy does engage the individual about their feelings and reactions to the mother. If, and I, I don't, I'm not suggesting that a therapist would not engage the idea of how do you relate to your mother today. But I think the work is in the relationship with the therapist and the effort is in the relationship with the mother. And um, I think this is a perfect time to talk about, I mean, if you're only looking at the diet, how much do you miss the way anxiety is regulated in the family? I mean, where in the heck is the father? <laughs> and where's the father's relationship with the mother? You know, in terms of how anxiety is regulated. So I, 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 I think you are correct in saying that there, the mother is still, working with your mother is still something that people can do as adults. But I also think that addressing, at least this was my experience, I don't know about you all, that addressing the relationship with your mother is the most complex relationship one has and the most intense, you know, which is the biological basis of the human child. I mean, Bowen and Bowlby agree that the mother is important, but how is the relationship being regulated by the bigger system? And in what way, by understanding that there's a bigger system to work with, can you come back to your mother and um, talk about things that or, or see her in a way that you could not necessarily imagine if you just think about trying to work out why she didn't take care of you the right way when you were a baby <laughs> you know? or, or a child, you know? Um, so, so thank you. That's a great basis for uh, going on to the next part which is actually about Bowen. But I, I do think that without examining some of this, it, it all melts together. And that's what I'm trying to do today is, is to distinguish how Bo, Bowen comes at this in a different way. So he introduces dad to the equation. And he said, the way the mother and the child interact has something to do with the way the mother and father interact. And that's the idea of the triangle, the parental triangle. And he began to see the family as an emotional unit. That is, this is not a group of individuals, but this is a unit which is interactive and self-regulating. And that is very different. <clears throat> you know, how does the mother relate to her mother in how she relates to her child? You know, how does the mother relate, <clears throat> the father relate to his family in how he relates to the mother and the child? So that all of these, um, I think you've probably seen the chalk talk on how a symptom emerges in a family, but that these are interactive processes which regulate the system and the way anxiety is managed in the system and distributed in the system. So these are reciprocal relationships that not just the baby and the mother or the child and the mother, but the mother and the father and the other important relationships in the family. <clears throat> 